Hey guys, um, I'm Amy. I'm not sure how many of you have met me. Um, I'm over our production department and I've been with the company for a few years now. Um, I am the one usually that will receive your guys' kits when you send them back for repair. So we have one today um, with one of our most common issues that we're hearing. And I kind of want to walk you through what we typically do when we receive the kit back. Um, this is also the same step that we'll do as we prepare for your shipment. So we'll go through kind of a quality check, um, make sure that there's no issues before you receive it. So um, today I've got one of our Universal Pro machines and uh, the customer sent in their power supply. Typically we will make sure that we send them in a pair so that we can easily rule out if it's the power supply or if it's the console. If it is the power supply, it's really easy. We can just ship you a new one, um, or you can purchase one online through many other vendors. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in and flip on the machine. As you can notice here, the red light is not coming on. Um, so my guess is there's probably something going on with the power supply. Um, so I'm gonna turn it back off and unplug. Now, I actually don't have another 10 amp power supply here in handy. What I do have was another power supply. It's a five amp, 12 volt, um, but the adapter is the same size. So I'm gonna plug that in and just see if I can get power to the machine. All right, so that's plugged in. We're gonna turn it on and it looks like the machine has turned on. I'm going to adjust the voltage. We get a zero, it's moving up, and goes over to 12 volts. Um, so we should get the same readings as the 10 amp versus a five amp. The only difference will be during plating. Um, okay, so now I've got a voltmeter, and this is just gonna check our ports. We're gonna make sure that we're getting the proper voltage um, to the ports. Okay, all right, so we're gonna plug our red into our yellow port and our black into our common. And we're gonna want to flip up to chrome stripping. And when we're in that mode, again, your yellow light should be on. When we're in chrome stripping mode, we want to see a negative 12 volts. Um, it will usually fluctuate up to a half um, a 0.5 in one direction or the other. So in chrome stripping mode, we're negative 12. Normal mode, you'll see that we're into a positive. Um, everything looks good there. So I'm going to go into my center port. This is usually used for our activation. Um, this port will be controlled by um, our meter here. So when we're in normal mode, my voltmeter should read very close to what the meter shows there. So I'll test and go up to about 12, nine. Let's go down to one, zero. And again, that will be slightly off, but that's typically normal. All right, so now let's go into chrome stripping mode. When we're in chrome stripping mode, that port should stay at zero, no matter what the voltage is adjusted to. It basically just cuts off power. So everything looks good there. We're gonna go into our next port, which is our plating port, most commonly our gold port. And again, we're in chrome stripping mode. And so we should be reflecting zero, no matter what our voltage is at. I'm gonna go ahead and switch it down to normal plating. And in normal plating, I messed with my All right. Um, all right, sorry, it's just easier to read that way. Okay, so in our normal mode, those numbers should match, adjust up, everything looks good. So right now I'm thinking it was just the power supply that went out for the customer, um, which is unfortunate, but it does happen, especially with our Chrome machines. Um, if we're using too much chrome stripper or we're not diluting it, it's gonna really put a lot of power onto the controller of the machine as well as the power supply. So it can trip it to go out. Um, 
in order to avoid that, you can just make sure you're replenishing your chrome stripper or dilute it. Um, the other thing that you can do is to plug your, your power supply into like a, power, a surge protector. Um, that way, if there is anything going on within the, this, your city limits or anything like that, it, that can cause your power supply to go out. Again, it's an easy fix. We just would hate for you to have to ship your machine to us if all we have to do is get you a new power supply. Um, the last thing that we check um, is to see if your machine shorts out. Um, this is something that you can do from home. And this just helps us kind of evaluate what's going on with your machine. So I'm gonna plug it again into my common, into my red. And this is your alligator clip, and typically you would have a handle on here. I would just detach the handle. And on your machine, you've got to be in normal plating mode. And roughly about 7 volts. If you touch these two pieces together, your, your machine should shut off. Um, and then it will come back on. If it doesn't short out, I would just kind of keep increasing your voltage. and eventually it should. If it does not, then there's probably something else going on and the machine should be sent in for repairs. Um, these are just a couple things, again, you guys can do from home to help you evaluate if it's your power supply or if it's the console. We hate to put you guys um, out of business or production for a couple weeks while it's being shipped in and repaired and shipped back. So. Give us a call, we're happy to help. Um, the good thing with this machine is, again, it was an easy fix. In the shop and out on its way pretty quick. So, thanks guys.